Please remember to subscribe, click like, and click the bell icon for all the notifications on this channel. So how many times did you have to say a certain person's name in the mirror? And that person would appear? Those of you who are onto what I'm talking about, there is a reboot and a new version of the 1992 classic Candyman. How many times did uh, they had they said it in the movie? Three times. You know, uh, I read up a little bit of the you know the so-called uh, folklore about it. They said that even there's even up to five, even 25 times you say it. But I'm trying to remember. It's been a long time since I seen the film. But I believe she said it uh, three times, right? There's also that Bloody Mary thing. So that's why I'm kind of, you know, kind of confused because it's like, I can't, because I've kind of, I'm kind of mixing both up because I think you say Bloody Mary also. I believe that's five times, but it could also be three times. But regardless, if you're dumb enough <laughs> to take on that challenge, you know, someone tells you, say it so many times in the mirror and see what happens. I remember that one girl, she got a hook in her back and she was like, you know, killed after doing that. If I'm remembering correctly, like I said, it's been a long time. Look how many years now, almost 20 years, right? Since uh, that came out. But I'm gonna check this out. Apparently Jordan Peele has something to do with this film. And I believe he was the one in Get Out, right? And other films. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna check this out and uh, well, if you would like to stop by and check out this video, uh, how about you come along with me and let's uh, see what it's all about. Candyman. The urban legend is, if you say his name five times while looking in the mirror, he appears in the reflection okay. and okay. kills you. Who would do that? Candyman. 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 Well, we're still alive. <laughs> Let's go. Ow. Trina, you've broken the door. Oh no. First sign. This isn't funny. Oh shoot, she's like a Damn, I she's a witness. Connected to this neighborhood. <laughs> She didn't do it, so she's not gonna get killed. Cabrini Green. It was the projects. I just moved in around the corner. The old candy factory. I'm an artist. You look up a candy man. He's the monster. It's part of this neighborhood. Why are you drawn to this? I'm hoping to spread the story. All about Candyman. The mirror invites you to summon him. You should say his name. I dare you. Candyman. 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 Don't. Don't say that. Candyman. <laughs> don't say it. At least don't say it five times. Ooh! I think I made a mistake. Ah, I wonder who's playing him. I brought him back. Candyman him? isn't real! Something's happening to me. He had a purpose for you. It was like being possessed by the spirit. One of his terrible stories. I guess he found me. I am the writing on the wall. The sweet smell of blood. June. Man, that last part, like when you found out, like the guy, apparently the spirit of Candyman caught up to him and is possessing him or something. But this moment that happened, you see that I, <laughs> I had a damn chill up my back. I was like, you know, I mean, it, it definitely was effective in that department, you know. 
Um, don't know what to think about it. You know, I like the original. You know, but Tony Todd was the, uh, you know, the one who played him. And uh, had Virginia Madsen in there. This one I'm not familiar. I'm familiar with the actor. I, I've seen him before. I just don't know the name. And there's a couple others that I could kind of remember vaguely, but I don't know their names. But Jordan Peele's behind this. He's behind. He was behind uh, Get Out. I believe that's the name of the movie, right? Get Out. Uh, he was uh, he was attached to, and he uh, I guess he produced it as well. I've never seen that movie, but a lot of pe people tell me that it's it's a great film. It's a great horror kind of film. So, you know, uh, I don't know. Uh, but uh, this one looked good. I like the trailer. Very very chilling. Like I said, that the last say twenty seconds, my I had that chill up my back. You know, like I'm like man, so it's effective that way. So it was it was, it was that's pretty good. You know, to do that to uh, I guess to anybody who watches it that they get that you know makes them want to see it. You know, uh, I don't remember the original. It's because it's so long. Because I when I watched it, well, I watched it when it came out in the theaters. I watched it maybe once after that, but it was like. Since then, no. So I kind of forgot how the story went. I mean, familiar with the whole how many times you you say Candyman in the mirror and then he appears and stuff. I'm not sure in the original that he it, somebody was possessed. I think he just appeared and started killing people. This one apparently he's possessing somebody. And maybe who knows? Maybe they spin it to where he's an, a descendant of the original. It could easily be it, you know. But you know, anyway, uh, trailer looked good. I really enjoyed it. I think that they have something there. I think that Jordan Peele has another uh, hit on his hands. Um, you know, it's 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 kind of tough when you're you're tackling something that's a known. Uh, film uh, something that you know you're rebooting something that I don't know if, if people are, are like saying they don't want this rebooted they could care less it's not one of those films that a whole lot of people you know are behind behind it in the sense that you know is, is there a lot of people that are fans of this franchise I mean not franchise but this film and if they are how do they feel about it being rebooted you know then again this is a generation now where everything's getting rebooted so if they do it well, if they do it justice, then okay, it's fine, you know, it's great. But if they fuck it up, you know, people are gonna say enough already <laughs> with the rebooting and all that. There's, there's plenty of other types of stories that you can bring to fruition on, the, on film, you know what I mean? You can bring it out and you can make it come to life on the screen, you know, constantly rebooting these, uh, past the films and even franchises. It's not the way to go, but at the same time, Hollywood's gonna do what Hollywood's Hollywood's gonna be what Hollywood is. So they're gonna keep doing what they do. Nothing we can do about it. Just sit back and just shake our heads like like this, like why again? Why? Why? You know. But anyway, uh that's my uh, video. Uh taking a look at the Candyman trailer. Uh number one is coming out in June. If it's coming out June this year, that's pretty. This is the first time I've ever heard of any news. I've, I've, anyway, but I have heard that vaguely in passing that they're going to do a remake of this or something. But it's been a long time, and there's not had. have been, This is the first time that I've seen uh, newer news about it. An announcement of a trailer. They announced it like on Tuesday, I believe. I think they announced it on Tuesday that it was going to come. That it was going to be dropping uh, Thursday. But uh, I like the trailer and, you know, see some more uh, trailers and maybe I'll watch the original, you know, because I like the film. Maybe I'll watch it, check it out, and maybe I'll see similarities. And then maybe I could say, okay, that's how it went, because it's been a long time since I've seen the original. So anyway, that's my video. And for those of you who stopped by and checked out my video, I appreciate it. And in closing, as always, take care.